I'm Caitlin Jones at Microsoft. I want to share some tips for making games more inclusive. In a game, the player's goal should always remain clear. This can be accomplished by giving the player tangible objectives that they can review at any time. In Life is Strange 2, the main character's journal contains a list of your current objectives. When you complete an objective, it's automatically crossed out. In the Outer Worlds, you can enable an objective tracker in the settings menu. It provides quest updates in your heads-up display and makes it easier to stay focused on your current objective. Make sure to provide options to enable waypoints, path markers, hints, and directional cues for gamers. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, map markers for the current objective appear in the heads-up display. Players can even choose to have their horse automatically follow the road to their next destination. If a game has a long, overarching narrative, remembering what's going on can sometimes be hard. Not only for people with cognitive disabilities, but for anyone who hasn't played the game in a while. That's why it's a good idea to provide summaries of progress. In The Witcher 3, when you load a saved game, you get a quick plot recap to help you remember what has happened so far. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oniromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. So that's it. Thanks for watching and joining us on our journey to make gaming for everyone. To learn more about how to make games better for everyone, visit aka.ms forward slash xga.